When God's got stuff in control, he's in control. And the kingdom of heaven is in control. He is in control of that. And he's in control in heaven. Everything's, everything's A-OK there. But when you look down in this earth and you think God is in control of all this stuff that's happening, you belittled him aside. You think he can't handle anything. You're saying he can't. He don't know how to do this stuff. He can't, he can't operate. He can't take care of these problems. Look what a mess it's in. People dying. People got cancer. People uh, uh, got all kinds of diseases. People dying and going to hell. And you think God's in control of these things? Why, well, you belittled him to he's nothing. That's not so. The only reason these things are happening is because they're trying to live outside of God. They're not believing what God said. Now, we're blessed. We're blessed with faithful Abraham. We're blessed. That the blessing of, of Abraham might come on the Gentiles. Hey, the blessing of Abraham has come. Will you receive it? Will you believe what God said in His Word about you? Will you believe what Jesus said there when He made those great statements? Whosoever shall... Say unto this mountain, be removed and be cast into the sea. You believe it? Yes. You believe it? Yes. Well, you can't go to some of these churches today and get that. They won't teach nothing like that. I hear them. I hear them. And I, I tell you what, I don't, I just, it's not for me. Praise God. I don't mean that in no belittling way, but it's not for me. Because I see people trying to live apart from God. And I see people with the only hope is that when they die and leave this world, it seems like that's the only hope that they have, that things are going to get better. Well, it's just because you're living below your privileges. It's because you're living below and not living up where God wants you to be and where God puts you. We talked about last night about being seated in the heavenly places with Christ. Are you? If God's Word says you've been seated in heavenly places with Him, are you? Maybe that's not true. Maybe something else is true of you. Maybe you're an exception. Maybe many of you are just exceptions. Maybe God don't care as much about you as He does other people. Then that would make Him a respected person. But just maybe that's the way it is. Maybe He don't care as much about you as He does some others. Maybe He wants you to live down there in the, in the mud, in the and all the stuff of this life that's going to try to kill you and, 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 and destroy your life. Maybe God thinks that way of you. Maybe it's because you've sinned. Maybe it's because of the way you're living your life. Maybe it's because of things you've done in the past. You ask God to forgive you, but they're still there. And maybe because of those things, He's kept you down. He's kept His foot on you. Or maybe it's because you just haven't received His Word. Maybe it's because you have believed other things people have said and you've not took God at His Word to say, that's what I believe. Praise God. That's what I believe. Yeah, I believe this. I'm going to believe what God said about me. Praise God. And I'm not going to believe these other things. I'm not going to believe that I'm down here without hope. I'm not going to believe that I'm down here on my own. And one of these days, oh, one of these days, my friend. Hey, I could get along with it here, but I'm not, I won't. And one of these days, we'll get our pie in the sweet by and by. That's your, that's your thinking. Look, when, when we leave this earth and depart this earth, yes, we're going to be in His presence. At the same time, people are fearful of dying. They're so full of fear about dying, they're, 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 they are afraid. They are absolutely afraid of dying. Now why would you be afraid of dying if you actually believe what God said? That when you leave this earth, you're going to be in His presence. In heaven. Why would anybody be afraid of dying? And Jesus, in, in uh, the second chapter of Hebrews, Jesus said that he, through the grace of God, had tasted death for every man. Well, that's great. You know what that really means to us, friends? 
that when we die, we'll not even taste death. We won't even taste it. Why? Because Jesus took it. Jesus tasted it. Now, he's the one that really tasted death. When he died, he tasted it. He suffered it. But when we die, he tasted death for every man. By the grace of God that we won't have to taste it. So when we die and it's time for us to go and leave, depart this earth, we just depart. And praise God, we'll be there. And we'll close our eyes and open them and we'll be there. And we didn't even taste death. Death had no hold on us. And all of a sudden you're there in the presence of God. Now how can they be fearing that? 